holding up the clues, it's not a very interesting task. So I thought I would make a video while I fold these clues. It's been a, uh, it's been quite hot lately, so I've been finding myself going through more and more clues. And um, gotta hold the basket to fold, and then I have to make dinner for tonight. I was thinking perhaps. Um, some uh, tofu, maybe if noodles, um, and that's about it for me. These are bed clothes here, so let's go on the bed. a movie I haven't seen in a while. I'm, I'm pretty sure I've watched it before, however, but I forgot about it. So, um, so it's from the 1990s. It's uh, based on the singer Selena, and uh, I don't know, I thought it'd be a little bit more interesting than what it was. I mean, it wasn't unwatchable or anything. It just I don't know, I was watching the online versions, so it might have had little scenes snipped out or something, um, because it did seem to just jump from one thing to another, and if you had read her bio, you might have been a little bit uh, confused about what on earth it was all about, but, um, uh, it, it seemed to just skim over everything. It wasn't. It didn't really seem very in, insightful, and it didn't have the the glamour. It was fairly um, like exposed, like she was fairly local, a local talent or something. And you could have probably made it a little bit better. This is wet. Um, by heightening the concert concerts a little bit um because it, it just seemed like a fairly local performance by someone who didn't really seem that big or anything so I think it could have they could have had better stage um I liked I liked one of the stages but I think it could have been made a little bit better to make her look a little bit bigger but um and the ending didn't really, if you didn't know that she had been shot by someone she knew, it wasn't very clear. Um, but like I said, I had watched the online version for, you know, which I didn't. And um, it seemed to just skip from one scene or another because one minute she's, you know, having a romantic moment with her husband. And then the next she's charging someone that she, who is obviously part of their troop, for stealing something, and then in the next moment, you know, the person who was accused is sobbing, and, and she's been shot, and it doesn't show her being shot, um, so if you didn't know she had been shot, you wouldn't really get that she had been shot, because it doesn't show it or anything, but, um, you know, if you didn't know that she had died, from a gunshot, you wouldn't think that the the hand that was holding this ring, um, you you wouldn't know who on earth was on the who was who was um limp hand it was, you know, and stuff. So it's it was a little bit ambiguous and unclear. I thought personally it had a little too many family moments in a way, um, but I suppose you know every director has you know the own, their own thing that they want to portray 
and you know if but I, I think I think it could have been different somehow um, but I don't expect anyone else in the world will probably ever do a similar movie bio <laughs> of that particular singer I mean she was I bet she was fairly local because she I, I didn't know really much of her songs I just saw her, her on the internet and clicked on the thing but um you just don't know how big people really are you know but um yeah it, it didn't it didn't really glamorize her very much as, as anything really big and I think she sold quite well um so but uh anyway it was I still watched it and I found it easy to watch it wasn't hard to sit through it some movies I can't stand like I saw this movie um, the other day called like the last man standing in San Francisco or something and I, I just couldn't watch it so I, I'm pretty sure I've seen it before but I couldn't watch it at all so I turned it off so I didn't do that with this movie so that means it's pretty watchable. I have no idea. Let's play these things then. Where's the other one? I really hate um crop tops and things that don't have um They don't have these inner pads stitched because they fall out all the time and you have to fiddle with them when you're when you're dealing with them you have to fiddle with them and even then you might not have inserted anything correctly so that's a couple of I'm just supposed to be down, not up. Okay. <sighs> I don't know what way this movie is supposed to be going. Seems okay. bras I don't think anyone should have to um I guess they, they put it in there so people can take them out and in or something but I like it when they're stitched so that they don't fall out and you don't have to fiddle with them so I mean it's a very good bra or crop top or whatever but it just doesn't those stupid things fall out and then if you figure out which way on earth they're supposed to go and it's like you know anyway Anyway, so like I was talking about that movie, it just, it seemed like a fairly, I 
るね。I think it like you know how there's so many like Marilyn films that can show different aspects of her life in different ways and things. It's like I think this could have been imitated and and recorded in another in another way to make it a little bit less. Like all about family kind of thing. It could have been more like something else, I guess. Anyway. Talking about people whose movies I want to see, I am interested in seeing the next Elvis one, but I think it's going to be fairly small production. Like, I don't think it's going to be as big as other movies. So, you know, it doesn't help that not many people are not going to the movies anymore. But I'm pretty sure that if I don't see it in a movie, which is highly likely, I'll see it. You know. Comes out on the um, digital on the on the digital like the Foxtel. I don't imagine I would buy it because I don't imagine that I will see it, but it looks like it might be a little bit interesting. But. Uh, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not really sure if any movies is being as big as other movies. <laughs> uh, that there's a lot of ups and downs in the community with all the um. The COVID and the blocking of pe certain peoples from cinemas and stuff, so it doesn't help the movies, the movie business, really. Well, that's the only movie that I've sort of heard of that has sparked my interest, but. I often don't see movies in the cinemas, and then I see them. Yeah, and then I see them after they're on TV, and I go, "Oh, that's an okay movie." So often, often I do feel like movies are okay. After you've actually seen them, because sometimes the ads make them look kind of dull. Then you see him, and it's like, oh, that was actually better than what I thought. So, but I, I can't say that there's any particular movie that I really want to see. Um, I know there's a Batman out right now, but and I did see the trailer on TV, but I don't really feel like seeing it. I'm kind of done with the whole superhero thing in a way. So, um, I'm not really convinced that I would really enjoy it. Um, 
I actually have a lot of Batman movies and I have to say that I don't really watch them anymore, you know. <laughs> and it's like... I don't know, they, they lose their... You lose your interest on them pretty quickly because they've been doing them over and again. And so it's like, I don't know, it's, uh, it doesn't capture my interest, all that stuff, but I know the kids, kids are probably really enjoying, because there's a lot of, because they are interesting to watch, don't get me wrong, I just, just don't really find them, you know, that, that appealing in a way. more for kids I think in a way but I, I do like them but I think they've just been overdoing them like topic like you think Batman it's like I've already seen Batman I want to see I saw Batman <laughs> so it's, I think the topic of just superhero characters is becoming a little dull and that's what I find, and I, I didn't even jump for a, a joy or interest when I saw the ad because it's like, oh, I'm pretty done with Batman. <laughs> I mean, how many times are you going to watch a fairly dreary character, you know, be reinvented? But, uh, I guess you could get surprised, maybe if you had an exceptionally something in the movie maybe it would spark some people's interest but I just think oh Batman yeah in a way I mean I, I like the Batman and Superman um but I don't know this this Batman didn't really make me want to go see it so and I thought the Catwoman I was like oh I'm not sure if I really want to go see this so I haven't booked a ticket or anything. Actually, I don't think I can go to the cinemas right now, so. Anyway, so. I'm not going to be watching those. Maybe, maybe next year there'll be a movie. It's really hard to pick out the movies you want to see when... They don't necessarily look interesting, but when you watch them, I mean, they're okay. So that's what I'm finding, finding a lot of non-interest, and then I watch them and it's like, oh, it's, they're okay. Maybe I didn't think they looked really that interesting. But that doesn't mean that I'm going to just go go see movies that I don't look interesting. I'll just see them when they come out on the TV. So that's all my washing done. So now that that's done, I can hang up these few couple of ones which aren't quite dry. And then go make dinner. <laughs>